Hey friends, Chad Husted with TeamQuadzilla.com here to share another mental fitness thought of the day because we know, say with me, healthy living starts between your ears. As a parent, you've probably told your kid to practice, whatever it is. She complains that she's not getting any better at basketball, so you ask, well, did you practice today? As a teacher, you tell your students and their parents, if we're honest, right, teachers, that to get better at reading, the students need to practice every day. And my son loves playing the snare drum. It is an entirely a learned skill that he's honed to a pretty high level through consistent practice. So to be better at anything from reading to sports or any flavor of healthy habit, one must not only practice, but practice consistently, over and over, repeat, keep going, don't give up. As a youth sports coach for several years, I would often say to the kids, you will get good at whatever you practice. It's obvious and true, right? Personal development guru, uh, Darren Hardy, he wrote The Compound Effect, a book I highly recommend, and he asserts that when you do the small, simple, even mundane, positive things consistently over time, you will compound your results. Compound financial savings. It doesn't look impressive only for a short time, but consistently saving for a long period yields significant rewards, right? We know this. Leadership expert John Maxwell says, consistency compounds. It's a great message for all of us. In fact, it's my, one of my favorite words, being consistent over time produces incredible results. Those in our Quadzilla Wellness Club know this well, right gang? Consistency compounds. And as a middle ager right now, I'm regularly accused of being many years younger than I really am. Some people my age think how lucky I am to be as fit and healthy as I am. But luck has nothing to do with it. I've worked pretty hard for many years to build a lifestyle of healthy habits in food, in exercise, in rest, in mental fitness. Very few see these habits of mine, but they happen consistently. I'm doing the work daily. One workout, one healthy meal, one journal entry, one Bible study at a time. Consistency compounds. I'm personally committed to consistency because I can look back at where I was before my healthy habits and see how far I've come. Such progress over time compels me to keep going because I know that it works. Simple actions like tracking water intake so that I know that I'm well hydrated every day or uh, choosing healthier snacks and not buying the junk food makes it easier for me to eat healthy. Journal writing every day, Monday through Friday, to clear my head and connect with God is among the best habits that I have. And exercising regularly helps keep me strong and limber while keeping my inner furnace hot to burn calories so that I can maintain a healthy weight. I wear the same size pants as I did in high school. These are not 30-day challenges, but lifestyle habits cultivated by regular practice with a fair share of failures and setbacks in there but done consistently over time it works consistency compounds you don't have to be great or special to produce great results you just have to be consistent uh, at the little things in these little things that will drive you to the results you desire you just have to keep showing up each day, do the work, and get better. In your life and profession, how can you be more consistent? What is it that you want to focus on? Make a commitment to take consistent action and start the compounding process today, and you'll reap the benefits if you do not give up. Thanks for watching your Team Quadzilla mental fitness thought of the day. And hey, if this has encouraged you somehow, please share it with someone else. And let me know in the comments 
your thoughts about today's word, consistency.